This week I put together Poe's X-Wing from The Force Awakens. Hi everyone, welcome back to the City Aperture channel. My name is Jose, I go by City Aperture. And uh, today I'm going to walk you through how I put together this model kit of, uh, it's an X-Wing, it's Poe's X-Wing, uh, Poe Dameron from the Force Awakens movie. And uh, I, so I build it and I painted it, but uh, I just want to show you, so it's one of these really inexpensive uh, model kits here. Ooh, this way. Um, it's one of those snap tight ones, it doesn't even need glue, but it's not the most realistic looking model. I think if I, if I put that up to it, you can see how plasticky it looks. Um, so we are going to put this together, and then we're going to paint it. So let's get to doing some of that right now. So the first thing is to put it together. It actually comes together pretty easy. You barely need some glue. I glued some of the parts together just because uh, I, I wasn't planning on taking it apart. I could have gotten rid of some of the mechanisms that are in it, but I just left it. It has some sound to it that... Uh, that if you push the bb 8 head it'll make a sound but I just took the battery out and I left the plate how it was I didn't want to have to repaint the whole thing once it was all assembled then it was just a matter of I wanted to put some sort of battle damage on it the paint job itself that the model comes with is fairly good it's just so vibrant and it looks so new so I wanted to make it look like you know it's it's seen its share of space battle so you know I did some dry brush technique where I took some silver and just made it look like the paint had been sort of stripped away from areas you know specifically in the landing gear I put some uh, some uh, black paint in the engine part of it so it looks like it's uh, it's ran before you know I just need it to look a little dirty it's too clean otherwise And you know, that, what you saw there is kind of the gist of it, it's, you know, a quick, probably took not even an hour to do, put it together and paint. Um, you know, just getting some of the stuff dirty, I'll show some close-ups of the photos of it. It just gives it this much more realistic look to it. It no longer looks like a kid's toy, which is what I was going after. I was looking for more of a display type piece, and I think I accomplished that with it, uh, as you're looking at some of the photos flashing by. Um, yeah, that's it. Very quick pose. Uh, this model kit costs like $14 to get, and you can get it for $14. And I have paint playing around, so it's very quick, maybe a $15, $16 uh, model here that's not good for display. And uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. If you guys like this project, then maybe you'll enjoy the podcast that I do with my two colleagues, Claudia and Ray. We discuss purpose-driven design, making, and manufacturing. We talk about architecture. We talk about all sorts of making. We have a project of the week. So, uh, yeah, please check it out. Again, it's called The Made Podcast. Thanks so much.